Rich Piano was born on September 26, 1970, in Northridge, California. He grew up in a loving family, but his parents divorced when he was young, which had a significant impact on him. Rich struggled with his parents' divorce, and he often felt like he didn't fit in with other kids at school. Despite these challenges, Rich found an outlet for his energy and frustration through sports. He was a talented athlete, and he excelled at a variety of sports, including football, baseball, and wrestling. Rich's natural athleticism and competitive spirit made him stand out on the field and in the gym. Rich discovered bodybuilding at the age of 11, and it quickly became his passion. He was inspired by the physiques of bodybuilding legends like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronnie Coleman, and he began lifting weights regularly. Rich was a natural bodybuilder, and he quickly developed an impressive physique that turned heads at the gym. But despite his dedication to bodybuilding, Rich never lost sight of the importance of family. He remained close to his mother, who was a constant source of support and encouragement, and he also had a strong relationship with his stepfather. Rich's stepfather was a bodybuilder, and so was his mother. They both played a significant role in shaping Rich's approach to the sport. Rich began competing in the MPC in the early 90s. He was known for his massive size and impressive symmetry, and he quickly rose to the ranks to become one of the most successful amateur bodybuilders of his time. Stepped on stage, was at 15. And I ended up placing fourth. And ever since that day, I've just been obsessed with bodybuilding. Rich competed in over 20 MPC events throughout his career. He won his first title in 1998, taking home the overall trophy at the MPC Sacramento Championship. He went on to win several other regional titles, including the MPC Los Angeles Championships and also the MPC Border States Classic. His MPC career was marked by his incredible size and conditioning. He was known for his massive arms, which measured over 23 inches in circumference, as well as his chiseled abs and impressive leg development. Um, if you have a champion's mindset, you're basically willing to do whatever it takes to win. And when I say whatever, it's whatever it takes. Rich's MPC career came to a close in 2005 when he retired from competitive bodybuilding. However, he stayed involved in the fitness industry and became a successful entrepreneur and also social media personality. Rich was able to achieve his physique by his unique training style, which was characterized by heavy lifting, high volume, and a focus on muscle isolation. He believed in lifting heavy weights to build strength and size, but he also recognized the importance of training each muscle group individually to create well-rounded muscle bellies. One of Rich's most famous training principles was his use of the time under tension. He believed that focusing on slow, controlled movements and maximizing the amount of time that each muscle was under tension during a set, he could create a more muscle growth and improve his overall conditioning. This meant that he often performed high rep sets with slower tempos instead of trying to lift the heaviest weight possible. Another key aspect of Rich's training style was his use of supersets and giant sets. He would often pair two or more exercises together with little to no rest in between, create a more intense workout, and maximize the muscle pump. This approach allowed him to work multiple muscle groups at one time, while also keeping his heart rate elevated for a more effective cardio workout. And while this approach may not be suitable for everyone, it's clear that this approach worked extremely well for him. Rich's diet was anything but ordinary. He consumed massive amounts of food every day, and sometimes as much as 10,000 calories or more. However, he was also very intentional about what he ate, focusing on a few key principles to ensure that his body had the nutrients it needed to grow faster and recover. First and foremost, Rich believed in the importance of protein. He consumed huge amounts of protein every day, often as much as 2 grams per pound of body weight. This includes sources like chicken, beef, fish, eggs, and protein powders. Rich recognized that the protein was essential for muscle growth and repair, and he made sure that he prioritized it in his diet. Secondly, Rich was a big believer in the power of carbohydrates. He consumed a lot of carbs every day, including sources like rice, potatoes, and pasta. He recognized that carbohydrates provide the energy he needed to power through his intense workouts and recover afterwards. In fact, he often referred to his carbohydrates as his secret weapon for building muscle. One of the most surprising aspects of Rich's diet was his love for ice cream. He often talked about how much he enjoyed eating ice cream and how it helped him reach his fitness goals. While it may seem counterintuitive to eat ice cream while trying to build muscle, Rich had a few reasons why he included it in his diet. And it has been rumored that Rich would eat a full pint of ice cream every night. Rich recognized the importance of enjoying your food. He believed that if you didn't enjoy what you're eating, you wouldn't be able to stick to your diet long term. For Rich, ice cream was a way to enjoy a treat while staying within his overall nutrition goals. He was able to achieve this by using ice cream strategically as a post-workout meal. He believed that after a strenuous workout, the body was primed to absorb nutrients quickly, and by eating ice cream after workout, he was able to provide his body with a quick source of carbohydrates and protein, which helped to fuel muscle growth and recovery. Now, I'm not really sure where the protein was coming from. I'm just assuming he would just add in protein powder. 
It's important to note that Rich's diet was not for everyone. He had an incredibly high metabolism and was able to consume massive amounts of food without getting any bit of excess fat. For most people, consuming 10,000 calories a day will be incredibly unhealthy and lead to significant amounts of weight gain. Rich was widely known for his outspoken personality. One of the defining traits of his personality was his confidence. He was not afraid to speak his mind and he had a clear sense of who he was and what he wanted out of life. He was not afraid to poke fun at himself or make jokes at his own expense. He was often seen smiling and laughing in his YouTube videos and he had a way of putting people at ease with his humor and easygoing demeanor. However, his life was not without controversy. One of the biggest controversies surrounding Rich Piana was of his use of steroids. He was open about his use of performing hands and drugs and he had even admitted to using steroids for over 30 years. Talk about synthol. And let's be honest, what do you think of it and, what, and do you use it? And let's just go into that. Uh, the truth of the matter is I've tried it. I've tried pretty much everything there is out there to try because this is what I do, yes. you know? He would often speak in interviews about his use of synthol injections to make his arms bigger. He was also the first known bodybuilder to have had PMMA injected to his skeletal muscles. He also had many other cosmetic procedures performed including a hair transplant, permanent eyeliner, dermal implants, buttocks, and lip injections. Rich was open about his struggles with body dysmorphia and even posted videos discussing the issue. And this is why I think he constantly tried to change his appearance by any means possible. Rich was also involved in some domestic violence issues and he constantly took backlash on social media for his unfiltered approach and insensitivity. Rich began creating content for YouTube in 2011. He was sharing his fitness tips, training routines, and personal insights with his fans. He quickly gained a massive following on YouTube with his entertaining personality, his honest and sometimes controversial opinions on bodybuilding, nutrition, and supplementation. His YouTube channel became one of the most popular fitness channels of his time and he had over 1 million subscribers and he had millions of views on his videos. This gain of popularity inspired Rich to create a supplement brand and he founded 5% Nutrition in 2014. The name of the company was inspired by the idea that only 5% of people had what it took to achieve their fitness goals. He also believed that his supplements could help people in that 5% achieve their full potential and reach their goals. The philosophy behind 5% Nutrition was centered around the idea of hardcore fitness. The company's flagship product was a pre-workout supplement called Kill It. The company's branding generally featured a bold, aggressive design with slogans like All Day You May and Real Food, Real Results. The company's products are still sold in over 100 countries around the world and it remains a popular choice among serious athletes and bodybuilders. But sadly, on August 10, 2017, Rich collapsed at his home in Florida and was rushed to the hospital. It was reported that he suffered a medical emergency, possibly a heart attack or stroke. He was placed in a medically induced coma to hopefully help his body recover. Rich remained in a coma for two weeks, during which time his fans and followers anxiously awaited updates on his condition. And on August 25th, 2017, it was announced that Rich had passed away at the young age, 47 years old. And of course, in the wake of Rich's death, there was a great deal of speculation and rumors surrounding the cause of his medical emergencies. Some suggested that his use of steroids may have played a role, while others pointed it to his extreme diet and training regimen. But in October 2017, the medical examiner's office released the official cause of Rich's death. They determined that he died as a result of an enlarged heart and coronary artery disease, both of which are common in individuals who use anabolic steroids and other performance-enhancing drugs. Rich Biana's death was a devastating loss for the bodybuilding community and his fans around the world. Many paid tribute to him on social media and shared stories of how he inspired them to pursue their own fitness goals. Rich's legacy lives on today through his brand, 5% Nutrition, and through the countless people who continue to be inspired by his dedication and worth ethic. While his passing was untimely, his legacy lives on through his accomplishments in the sport, his dedication to fitness and bodybuilding, and his impact on the lives of those who he knew and followed this journey. We will always remember Rich as a true legend in the world of bodybuilding.